Okay, let's try to understand moments in a simple system where we can see a beam resting on a fulcrum. And let's imagine that this is a seesaw. It's a very long seesaw, it's six metres long on each side, but let's just imagine it's a seesaw. And on this seesaw, we have one person here sitting here, and they have a weight that causes a two Newton force downwards. And we know from experience that if you have a person weighing a certain amount, there's a certain distance along the seesaw. To balance the seesaw, you need to put somebody of the same weight at the same distance on the other side. Now let's show mathematically why that is so. Well, when you're on a seesaw and you're sitting here applying your, your force due to your weight, it's actually acting along this line of action and it creates a twisting in that direction. The seesaw will go down if there's no one on the other side and the twisting is in that direction which we call the negative direction or the counterclockwise direction. So what are the moments in this system where we have a 2 Newton force on one side at 5 metres and a 2 Newton force on the other side at 5 metres on our seesaw? Well, the moment here due to this person, their weight acting down through that line of action times the perpendicular distance from that line of action back to the fulcrum is force times perpendicular distance which is equal to 2 newtons down times the perpendicular from that line of action back is 5 meters that's 10 newton meters and because it's in this counterclockwise direction or twisting the lid on a jar direction it's negative. This one over here is the same moment is force times perpendicular distance and here that's 2 newtons times that's the line of action going down there this person's weight pushing straight down and the distance back to the fulcrum of the seesaw is 5 meters so that's 10 newton meters so we can see, and that, sorry, is in the positive direction because it's in the counterclockwise direction. See, it's going round that way. And that's the twisting a jar lid off direction, which is positive. Okay, so we can see this seesaw is balanced. Now, what would happen if this person here moves in on the seesaw? Well, if you remember from your experience in the seesaw, when a person moves in, well, you try and work it out from either your experience or try and work out by moments. Well, what would happen is if, if that person moved in, the perpendicular distance now is smaller and so the overall moment due to this downward force would be smaller and so it would be the moment in the negative direction would be less than the moment in the positive direction and so this side would go up and this person would go down so you know if you move in on a seesaw your side goes up if you move out on a seesaw your side goes down because going out increases your moment and going in decreases your moment all right so let's say that person does move in I'm going to draw it here on this system here. Two newtons. We've still got this other person here over at two newtons. Now we know that that side's going to tip up because this person's moved in, but what we're going to do now is often this is what happens. Pretend this is exactly at the same place that are at the four. There's a 0.5 newton. There's a, a smaller person gets on at exactly the same place since it's really, really close. And this is what happens on a seesaw. Your friend jumps on in order to balance the other side. So now I can tell you that this side is now going to balance this side, but you try and write the equation that describes why that is so in terms of moments. Just stop the video and have a go. All right, well, let's show why, why these two sides now balance. Well, the moment due to these forces sorry, the moment due to these forces is the force 
times the perpendicular distance. Okay, and the force now is 2 newtons down plus 0.5 newtons down, right, and they're both acting down this line of action so that their perpendicular distance from the line of action back to the fulcrum is along the beam and it's 4 meters. So we've got 2.5 times 4 which is 10 newton meters. So we can see and it's in that direction the clockwise direction so it's negative. So we can see we actually have the same moment as we did last time when we had one two newton person when that person moves in and someone else hops on at half a newton then together they create the same original moment as on the other side because we knew that this was already from before this was plus 10 newton meters so that describes what happens when you're on a seesaw you move in your side goes up and then another friend hops on the same place and that balances your side again so that now the moment in that direction is equal to the moment the moment in the clockwise direction is equal to the moment in the counterclockwise direction and once again the system the, the seesaw is balanced and in this way we can say that the system is in equilibrium and in equilibrium we have the sum of the moments is equal to zero so we can see the plus 10 newton meters on this side minus the 10 newton meters 10 newton meters from that side is equal to zero so this is a mathematical way of describing what you know from your experience about being on seesaws now let's try one more system Imagine we have a an old-fashioned seesaw where sometimes there was a wedge sticking up here with a handle on it so that somebody could come along and push it while standing on the ground to tip the seesaw this way or that way. If they push that way the seesaw would tip that way. Okay and let's put our couple of people on here as before, our two and our 0.5 Newton people here and let's put our 2 Newton person on over here and now let's have maybe a parent pushing here with a 1 Newton force in that direction at a distance of 1 from the fulcrum and let's say that this board here weighs 0.5 Newtons so it has its force due to its weight acting down through the center so how can we understand what happens here? Well intuitively we know that these two are balancing this person here so without the beam the seesaw is balanced but now someone's pushing on a beam you intuitively know that if someone's pushing that way the seesaw is going to go in that direction a positive direction because overall while these two are balanced this is still not balanced so how do we show that mathematically? Stop the video and see if you can write the overall equation for that whole system. Okay, the overall equation. Well, first of all, we'll write the moments for each part and then we'll write the overall equation. The moment here is the force times the perpendicular distance, which is two newtons down through its line of action, times its perpendicular distance back to the fulcrum, which is five meters. Right, draw the line of action there, it's perpendicular distance. Here, this is the moment is 2.5 times 4, which is 10 newton meters. Sorry, this one here is 10 newton meters, and we know that this one back here is positive and this one here is negative. These two balancing each other out. However, what have we got here? Okay, first of all, we've got the 0.5 Newton weight acting down through the center. Now does it have a moment? Well remember the moment is the force times the perpendicular distance. Does this have a perpendicular distance? No, it's acting straight through the pivot point. There's no perpendicular distance. 
So the weight itself has no moment. However, the person pushing this way is creating a one newton force in, along this line of action. Now this line of action does have a perpendicular line going from it back to the fulcrum. There's the perpendicular line there. Okay. So the moment due to the one newton force, the moment due to the one newton force is the force which is one newton times the perpendicular distance back to the fulcrum which is one meter. So that's one newton meter. And it's in the positive direction. Okay. The overall moment is positive 10 newton meters from this one here, 1 newton meter from this one here, and minus 10 from this one here. Altogether, the moment is plus 1 newton meter for this whole system. And intuitively, you could see that because you knew these two balanced, these, this person balanced these two people from before, and we had an additional 1 newton acting at 1 meter. So you can see, if you see any system where you have a beam and you have vertical and horizontal forces acting at perpendicular distances back to, from their line of force back to the fulcrum or the pivot point, then you can see that these systems are all analogous to a seesaw system. It doesn't matter whether the beam is this way or that way. If you can describe the, the forces in terms of their perpendicular distances back to the fulcrum, you can see it all in terms of really just being a complicated seesaw, which you understand. So you can use your intuition and your, your understanding of the physical world in order to look at problems that have moments in them and to... And to get some idea of what's going on from what you know about experiences with seesaws and